Hi, my name is Jeff. Welcome to another edition of a Sound Advice. And in this edition of Sound Advice, we want to tackle EQing with a purpose. And in this first part of eight parts, in this first part, what we want to talk about is what is EQ and the purpose for EQing. So if this interests you, please stay tuned as we get into what is EQ and the purpose of EQ. All right, stay tuned and I'll be right back. Let's just go ahead and get right into what is EQ? You know, ask yourself that question. What is EQ? What 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 is EQ all about? You know, what what is it? OK. And um, and I'm glad you asked that, because now I'm going to give you a definition of what EQ is. And the definition is EQ is a volume control for a specific or range of frequencies. OK, and all that saying is, is that 500 hertz, I can turn that up and I can turn it down. And I can do the same for uh, uh, two kilohertz. I can do the same for five kilohertz. I can turn them up. I can turn them down. OK, so that's what an EQ is. All right. Now let's talk about why do we need to use EQ? Okay, you gotta you gotta have the why you know why I want to use it. I know what it's for is to turn it up and I can turn frequencies up and down. But why would I want to turn up and frequencies down? Okay, and that is is to shape the sounds of instruments so that they sit well together in the mix. Okay, so that's the purpose, the why, and the the what and the why. Of, of EQing. Okay. Now, I know we hear a lot about, you know, oh, this EQ has a lot of tone, a lot, you know, uh, a lot of character to it and things like that. Okay. But, and, and, and the main thing I want you to get is don't forget about the clarity that you're doing with EQ because that's that's your that's your purpose is to bring clarity to the mix and you have to know how to use your EQ to bring that clarity because you don't want to give somebody their project and they can't hear the vocals they can't hear the guitars they can barely hear the kick drum they want everything to be heard cohesively and EQ is what helps shape that clarity. Okay. So just to recap real quick, why do we use EQ? One reason why we use EQ is to shape the individual sounds. Okay. Number two is to hear things more clearly. And number three is that we can physically adjust the volume of different frequencies. Okay, so now we have, uh, hopefully, we have a better understanding of what is an EQ. Okay, and we know that we know now that EQ helps shape the sound of our instruments. It brings clarity to our sound. And the way we do all of that is that we can mess with whatever frequency we want and we can boost it or cut it however we want. So this is the whole purpose of the EQ. And so I hope that I drove that home and I hope that you have a better understanding of EQ. So the next time you start using EQ, now you you know you have just a little bit better understanding and you can approach EQing a, a little bit better on your next project so like I said all I'm trying to do is just bring you the truth about why we do what we do you know and hopefully I'm doing that in a way that is uh, 
that is helping you. So once again, this is Jeff. This has been Sound Advice. And I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.